Guys, I have bad news. I have really bad news. Um, I got fired from McDonald's. I got fired from McDonald's because you might have seen my McDonald's video where I was, you know, like freshly hired, working my first day on the shift. I was working my first day on the shift and like, I was so excited. You know, because I finally got a job and I was finally working and I was like, I was doing so good and like I made breakfast and it was so good and then like, I... <sighs> Sorry guys, I had to compose myself. So, what had happened was, there was a Chick-fil-A down the street and Chick-fil-A, their shit is so good. One day, I went to Chick-fil-A and I got the nuggets. And I brought them back to McDonald's and I put them in a McDonald's box so that no one would be on to me. And then one of my co-workers asked for a chicken nugget and I gave him one. I gave it to him because I trusted him and he knew it wasn't McDonald's and he said, if you don't give me this whole box of chicken nuggets, I'm going to snitch. And I said, fuck no, these are mine. And I thought he was bluffing and he wasn't bluffing. so. Um, he told my manager and my manager found out that I was eating Chick-fil-A on the job and I got fired. So anyways, so then I went to Chick-fil-A down the block a week later when I had healed from what had just happened to me. I go to Chick-fil-A and I ask for a job there and they said, tell me about your previous work experience. And I told them my previous work experience and I shared the traumatic time that I had at McDonald's and I told them like listen like all I wanted was some nuggies from Chick-fil-A and this is what happened and they said that's the loyalty and dedication that we need on our team you're hired and I said <laughs> say less so welcome back guys today is my first day on the job of working at Chick-fil-A so I'm going to be making some chicken nuggies and some fries the Chick-fil-A waffle maker for the fries is actually broken, so I'm gonna have to cut them by hand. But, um, we're, yeah, this is what we're doing. You guys are probably like, this girl is so ridiculous. Let me just watch a video. <clears throat> oh shit, that's not where the flower is. That's my old apartment. I mean, kitchen at my last job. At this point, I know you guys are like, this girl is so ridiculous, why can't she keep a job? I don't know, so. Anyways, today we're making Chick-fil-A. It's my first day on the shift and I will be um, cooking Chick-fil-A for you guys. For myself, I mean. <laughs> right now I'm getting the breading ready as my manager taught me. So I'm just doing some flour and three spoons of cornstarch. And the chicken has been marinating in a special Chick-fil-A secret recipe buttermilk. And that is um, right now in the fridge and we're gonna start making our nuggies. Along with that, we're also gonna have fries. <sighs> Unfortunately, the waffle fry cutter is broken, so, I mean, there's not really much we can do about that. I wish I could cut it by hand. I might try it, but I don't think I'll be able to. Also, I'm gonna be baking them because the deep fryer for the fries is broken as well today, so um, I'm gonna have to bake them. <laughs> I just really was craving Chick-fil-A. I'm always craving Chick-fil-A. I get the hype. I don't know why people are like, I don't get the Chick-fil-A hype, blah, blah, blah. The hype is everything. Like, it, it's everything. Chick-fil-A is so good. Is it? Do you guys agree? Someone let me know in the comments. Like, do you guys agree that Chick-fil-A is actually like the bee's knees? Or do you think that it's just not that good and you don't understand why people overhype it? Because in Canada, we didn't have Chick-fil-A forever. We just got it for the first time, I think, what, like 2019? So I hadn't tried it until 2019. And I was like, if it's overhyped, I'm gonna be so mad. I was like, bitch, I get it. I get it. This is what we're working with so far. That's the cornstarch mix. And then over here is the buttermilk mix. So the chicken has been marinating in that for, I think like eight hours now. I'm gonna let the chicken rest for a little hot minute. And while the chicken rests, oh, I'm going to cut some potatoes. I wish I had one of those slicers oh, so that I could cut my fries the way that they deserve to be cut. Is it weird if I try to do it by hand? That is weird. That is weird, huh? 
right? Yeah. I'm gonna cut the fries and stuff off camera because it's gonna take me forever to do and I don't wanna just bore you guys to tears. So um, I'll show you guys once they're cut. Plus my manager's watching over my back and I don't want him seeing that I have my camera out. So I'll be back once he goes on his lunch break. Okay, so I seasoned the fries, chili powder, paprika, salt, pepper, garlic powder, um, I don't know, cayenne pepper. Yeah, I tossed them up in like a bowl and this is pretty much what they're looking like. I bake my fries because they still taste bomb and they're healthier. So let's pop them in the oven. My biggest fear is that this thing will spring up and burn my hand. Oh my God, I think about it every time. Take some oil in a pot, enough for the chicken tenders to do their thing. <laughs> I love how I just talked about being healthy and here I am drowning a pot in oil. That's enough. Now I'm gonna put this on high. Oh, oh my God, it's heavy. Okay, so now this is what I do. Why does this buttermilk feel so thick? Last time it didn't feel this thick. How do I do this again? Do I dip it in the buttermilk? Okay, so now you take your chicken and you put it in your cornstarch mixture. And then you dip it back in the buttermilk and you put it back in your cornstarch mixture. And this goes in the oil, which is almost ready. So now I'm just gonna keep doing this. Okay, so this is the situation we have right now because obviously, like I said, our deep fryer broke so yeah these are the nuggies well they're not nuggies they're tenders i wanted bigger pieces um these are the tenders and then the fries are looking bomb they're in here i'll show you that in a minute so yeah like they look everything's looking real good real nice yum yum delicious let's flip this they're double battered so they're pretty crispy Mmm, I'm gonna show you guys how to make my sauce too. I don't know if I told you guys about my sauce that I made and that I learned about. Oh my god. Well, not really learned about. I came up with this on my own. It's not that complex, but okay. This, we ran out of Polynesian sauce here at Chick fil A. So I went to Walmart and I got Polynesian style pineapple barbecue sauce for $3. And what I do is I just mix it with mayo. Yes, fucking Miracle Whip is disgusting, but it's all we have. So I mix it with um, mayo, and I use that as my, like, my own sauce for dipping. And it's so freaking good. It's so good. I add pepper to it, and I add, um, yeah, black pepper. That's pretty much it. It's really spicy, so. So I literally just mix it all together. Ooh. Look at that. Oh my God, it's so good. Trust me guys, try it and let me know what you think. So here are the fries. Oh my goodness, so good, so good. So now we're gonna try the nuggies and the fries, so. This is the inside of the nuggy. Oh, you can't see. Whatever. You're gonna dip it in. Oh, you won't hear the crunch because the oil's so loud. Let's try a fry. Mmm. I forgot to put chili flakes in the fries. I'm mad. Mmm. Oh my god. That is delicious. Wow. So much better than McDonald's. McDonald's can kick my ass for firing me. Mm hmm Another fry. All right, so it is done. These are the fries and the chicken nuggies. So let me do one more little taste test with the new batch. Hopefully when I bite into it. My biggest fear is biting into it and like seeing pink. That terrifies me. 
Hopefully you can hear the crunch now. Mmm. No pink. Mmm. That is good. I can really cook, guys. I know I say that all the time. But like, damn. So juicy. Buttermilk really is it. Anyways, for my first day on the job, I had a really good experience. I'm really excited that I've been granted the opportunity to work for one of my favorite franchises. It really is my pleasure. Hopefully, they don't fire me too. I'll be devastated if they do. But anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. Mm, I'm in food heaven. I can't even think straight. <laughs> I really am such a foodie. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas. Oh my god, wait, what? Tomorrow's Christmas. Oh, well, Christmas for me. We celebrate on the 24th, but... Ooh, what Christmas content am I gonna give you? Crazy shit, man. Crazy shit. I had all these Christmas ideas to do with my friends and with my boyfriend, and, like, I didn't do any of it. It's just really hard in quarantine. I'm not gonna lie to you. But thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow. I'm gonna go stuff my face, and I'm very excited.